If you're moving to the Boston area, what kind of house can you expect to buy in the suburbs from a million to a million one? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. So stick with me, I'll be right back. Hi, my name is Karen O'Brien. Today, I'm going to walk you through a tour, probably uh, 10 or 11 houses at least. I picked a 30 mile radius from downtown Boston so that you could either commute, use the commuter rail or drive, but I didn't narrow it down that way. I picked single family homes, at least three bedrooms, at least two bathrooms, at least parking for two cars. So let's see what you get for your money in different neighborhoods. Here we go. Okay, right now we're going to look at Holliston, single family home. Nice kitchen, open, very open and high ceilings. Actually very current. It's attractive hardwood floors, except the bedrooms. Now you're gonna find developers when they're building these big houses, they put carpet and the second floor saves them some money. I recommend you all change that to hardwood if you're gonna resell. Okay, now we're going to North Andover. Lovely single family home. It looks a lot smaller on the outside. <clears throat> nice kitchen, warm and cozy, but yet open into other parts of the house. All hardwood floors. These are what people want. Hardwood floors. It's cleaner. You can always put carpet on top. Bedrooms look good. I don't see a lot of carpet. So to me, value. And this is a little over a million. Linfield Mass, much more modern looking, but modern, a little dated. The stairwell looks kind of 80s. Um, maybe this house has been around for a while and there's some renovating being done, but it's not super high-end renovating. Great hardwood floors upstairs. Making the most of every bit of space. Looks like an in-law downstairs. Nice big space in the back. Now we're on to, we're on to Lexington. Much more modern taste, very old homes, but often upgraded. Looks like a little bit of a sun porch. Looks like renovated downstairs for a little party room, but the bathrooms have not been renovated. Very interesting. So it's a little spotty on the renovation, but a nice big backyard, two car garage, and that's in Lexington. Okay, this next house is in Redding. It's in a cul-de-sac. Your neighbor has a big pool, but they have a fence. These uh, drone views are terrific especially if there's a lot of land. I see nice, large rooms. Kitchen, comfortable, but not huge, like some of the new ones. All carpet upstairs again, that will cost money to replace. Bathroom, a little bit dated, big backyard. And floor plans, which is always a great idea. Winchester. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely dated. And somebody decided tile is a great idea for the floors. Up bedrooms have hard wood, but there's tile floors, which can be slippery on the rest of the main living space. Very mix and match tile in the bathrooms, um, 
Yeah, somebody wants a million dollars for this house and I think it is overpriced. Topsfield, beautiful yellow house, classic. Classic kitchen inside, nice hard woods, but I have to say no granite on the countertops. How can you sell a house for a million dollars if you don't have stone countertops? I don't know. So whoever comes in knows they have to spend more money. Nice hardwood floors. They have beautiful grounds, beautiful back deck, beautiful yard. That's a very lovely setting. And that's in Topsfield. Needham. Needham is a suburb right on the edge of Boston. It is very easy to commute. Homes there, a minimum of a million dollars, usually 1.1. And here we have a nice house. Kitchen is not updated. There are Corian countertops. Same thing with the bathrooms, multicolored. Not the latest trends as far as kitchen and bath. But nice front yard, nice backyard. Very nice for Needham. This last one is in Wenham. W-E-N-H-A-M on the North Shore. Looks like a cottage from the outside. Very unique. And actually, I think the feeling I get looking at this is somebody built a house to make them feel comfort at home. And, you know, that could sell the house or it could deter people, but even the bathroom looks like a spa. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Woburn and Duxbury, from north of Boston to south of Boston. This house is 1.1 million, very traditional, very well appointed. It is on a road that rings around Horn Pond in Woburn. So you actually have a view of the pond from the front of your house and in the back, there's a pool. And I think this is a very saleable house. And now a single family house in Duxbury for 1.1 million. It's almost like a compound. 